Seasons change, so does the evolution of the ride. Different shapes and sizes for different peddlers. Pavement, snow, dirt, urban, wilderness. It's become more versatile than a common automobile. At a young age, we all graduated from three wheels to two. Some of us doubled to four. The rest of us, well, we never changed. We invite you to change. People wanted to see bike racks on buses. They wanted to see uh, more parking at C train stations. And so that's our focus. So we've been putting in bicycle parking at all of the stations and upgrading the old facilities to be more modern. And so uh, people really have the choice. If they live near a sea train station, uh, you can really bike those two kilometers or three kilometers to the station in just a matter of minutes. So it's really feasible to do by bike. For those that want to make that longer trip and incorporate public transit into it as they do want, where there is room to ride on the sea train with their bikes and so we make that available uh, during non-peak periods. You can take your bike on before 6.30 in the morning or after 9 o'clock, um, have an easy commute into the core, take your bike off and ride the last kilometer in. Um, everybody wins at that point. There are uh, specific doors at the end of the cars where we'd like people to, to be able to load on and, and load off with minimal disruption to all the other customers on the train. The other way though is by parking their bike at a station in a nice visible spot, uh, whether that's using a bike rack or uh, in some cases some customers choose to use bike lockers. They're actually parking their bike, making that trip by transit and then coming back uh, uh, to get their bike later. So really it's about uh, making it easier for people to make those short trips between the, in the little community that they're in and then uh, make the longer trip between the, the communities uh, by transit. In the long term, of course, we're looking at extending that same uh, um, accessibility with, uh, with bikes on transit onto our bus fleet as well. If you're sitting there waiting for a bus and uh, you're waiting for it to have a bike rack and two go by that don't, that no longer becomes a viable option. If it's not attractive, people won't do it. By the end of the year, in December, we'll have 150 of these vehicles on the road, uh, complete with the, uh, the space in the racks for two bikes. And it's one step in our longer term goal of having every bus outfitted with bike racks. Well, it's all part of a, a, a sustainable city, uh, a city that's attractive to live in without necessarily needing a car and that uh, you know, upwards of $10,000 a year of, of capital and operating costs that goes into owning a vehicle. If, if people, young people who use their bikes and use transit today um, maybe don't have to take that step of buying a car uh, as they get older, then we've held on to a transit customer. Uh, that person stays as a cyclist and off of our roads, so there's less congestion, and they're healthier as a result. There's a, a, a big uh, opportunity for uh, Alberta to become a healthier province by encouraging uh, sustainable modes like walking, cycling, and public transit. And a big part of that uh, falls to us to make sure the infrastructure is available uh, as part of our 30-year plan.